Welcome, welcome one and all to Booze and Chills secondary uh, long-term content. I say secondary because we already, well, by we, I mean me, I do live broadcasts. Those are like my longest uh, content, as I mentioned. And so this one in particular is uh, is podcast. This is the very first episode of the Booze and Chill podcast that I like to call Welcome one and all to the very first episode or first well yeah episode because the podcast tend they 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 do call themselves uh episodes right or whatever so welcome to the very first episode of the booze and chill buzzcast as i call it welcome one and all uh for those of you who are tuning into the uh video podcast welcome one and all thank you for joining thank you for wanting to see my face not the best looking one but hey whatever and for those of you who are just listening in thank you for tuning in and you know lending your ears lending your ears and man what a time to start a podcast especially when it comes to my particular niche which is beer uh in general so fucking uh i don't know if you all have heard about this one but if you're all familiar with kid mr or mr rock first name kid kid rock uh posted a short video of uh him shooting uh cases of bud light he starts off the 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 short clip by saying, uh, what, what did he say? He goes, Grandpa's feeling a little frisky. And I don't know what the fuck he says right after that. But, but uh, he goes and fucking starts shooting uh, cases of Bud Light. And then after he's done shooting the shit out of these cases, he turns around and goes, fuck Bud Light and fuck uh, what's that other company called? Cal- 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 what called Anheuser Busch? That's the one. That's the one. And so the story goes, guys, that there is a transgender TikTok influencer, right? That uh, which by the way, I have no idea who this fucking person is. And before you all come at me and be like, oh, my God, how can you not know? Blah, 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 whatever. Okay, so it's like Kid Rock's been around for a very fucking long time. Okay, so and I I've, I've been a fan of fucking Kid Rock for uh, for as long as I can fucking remember. I've been a fan of his since fucking uh, his his metal, his rap metal shit. So I know who he is. Uh, this transgender TikToker, uh, whether this person being an up and comer or whatever, you know, I have no idea who this person is. So, uh, this, uh, transgender TikToker influencer gets, uh, what do we call it? A sponsorship. It gets a sponsorship from Bud Light, uh, putting the this person's face on the can for being a good person of uh, being a good a uh, good influencer and whatnot right and so so the but like uh shows their appreciation their love or whatever puts this person's face on the can this person makes a, sh- uh, a short video out of it saying that all oh, uh thank you so much blah 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 giving their giving their thanks giving the gratitude right and uh kid rock responds like i mentioned by shooting up the cans with this person's face on it and so fucking that that action within itself kind of like started a whole fucking chain reaction of uh, a bunch of other uh i don't even know what word to use but basically kid kid rock started a whole chain and ever since he's he he did that a bunch of people uh who back him up uh 
stopped uh, buying Bud Light as well as all the other beers that fall under this the same brewing company. Uh, liquor stores also decided to stop ordering and selling this product because of the same reason. And you can already you can already say I'm not say it, but tell where this is going. Uh, fucking uh, oh, these people are just fucking assholes and again are against transgender. Blah blah blah. Whatever the case is, I don't give a shit. And I and I will give my my straight up honest opinion because this is what this whole this whole fucking idea, this whole podcast is about. This is me opening up and telling you straight up what I fucking think and whatnot. And so uh I can give two two shits out of a dead poison dead rat's ass of what you consider yourself, okay? I don't care uh, what you what you consider yourself. I don't care uh, if you're straight, transgender, gay, whatever. I do I do not give a shit. Straight up, I don't give a shit. First of all, second of all, I just I just don't I I plain just don't drink light beer. Straight up. If you've been a fan of, of the channel since the very beginning, you know me and you know that I'm just I'm just not a fan of fucking um of light beer. I don't like light beer. Straight up, I don't like light beer. So that's number two. So I'm straight up biased. Okay. So you this is this is uh, an opinion of somebody who's biased. I don't drink but uh but light or any light beer into that matter, because I'm just I'm just not a fan. I just think it lacks the flavor. But and and I'm sorry. And also, I don't care what you are. I don't care what you consider yourself. I don't care what fucking pronouns you you are. I don't care. Okay. I don't care. And also, this isn't just against uh Bud Light. This is also, I believe, uh the Guinness Guinness was also named in here. Uh, Guinness, the all-time famous Irish beer, Guinness, uh, which is part one of my uh, one of my all-time favorites, the one that started this entire thing. The reason why we're even fucking here. Um, so people are against also Guinness, but the thing is, if I'm not mistaken, Guinness uh, started showing their pride since 2019, and people are just finding out about it and. Since the whole Kid Rock thing, people just are, they've, they've just been bashing it. They've been bashing it. Um, I don't care much for Bud Light, again, because I don't drink it. I don't care if it's like, because some people consider it like, oh, it's the most American thing, or blah, blah, blah. Like, whatever. I, I really don't care. But uh, they started, they mentioned Guinness and, and all this, and I'm just like, dude, okay, oh, wait, hold up. Hold the fuck up, all right? You do not fuck with Guinness and just get away with it, all right? <laughs> so I can't really do much about it, right? But but they started bashing Guinness again because uh, they've been showing their gay pride since, again, 2019. People just are finding out and people are bashing in on that and not just them. They're also going against, uh, they're boycotting, they're boycotting Jack Daniels, Mr. Jack Daniels. That's another one of my personal favorites. Uh, they're going as far as saying as uh, people who drink Jack Daniels are considered uh, mentally ill. I take that a little bit offensive. First of all, I'm only slightly mentally ill, but that's what makes me the person that I am today, but whatever. And I mean that in a good way. Second of all, uh, I'm going to take a little sip of my tea here. Second of all, Jack Daniels has also been showing their pride there, uh, since 
I want to say since 2000, 2001 ish, something like that. So Kid, uh, Kid Rock made it, uh, made it a an in hint or hip or cool or thing or whatever to hate against these companies, these brewing companies or distilleries for showing their pride. Uh, and he just made it again. He just made it cool or whatever. He he made it a trend, and people started following. And it, it's fucking. Oh, there's one. There was this one video I actually just saw just today. Uh, Tim, this YouTuber, Tim something, and I'm calling him out by name because uh, he even says it that I don't drink, blah blah blah. But when I do, I'm just not gonna buy this certain product, which is the products that I just mentioned the the Bud Lights, Budweiser, fucking up because Budweiser is from the same uh, brewing company as the Bud Light and fucking Jack and all of them. He's like, I- I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna stop fucking uh, trying drinking that shit. That's it. I'm done. Whatever. Now. We can look at this at certain ways, right? We can look at it this as uh, as uh, my wife calls it, the Me Too movement. The Me Too movement being that uh, the Bud Light, Bud Weiser, whatever, uh, Jack, fucking uh, Guinness, uh, just making this move, making uh, what I'm going to call a business move. I'm sorry, business move. It's a business move that they make to uh, maybe show their respect, or whatever. But at the same time, excuse me, at the same time, uh, putting their name out there to a community that is at at present time right now is very open very uh out there and uh i'm gonna go back to this uh i can't remember his name tim some bullshit some youtuber he even uh says something like oh i don't even have i personally don't even have uh disney plus i don't have netflix and um there's this other um this other thing he mentions that he doesn't have he doesn't have these uh apps and whatnot because and i personally have seen this for myself uh and i'm i'm gonna talk about disney plus uh we were watching we were watching disney plus my wife my two daughters and i were watching i don't know you are familiar with the proud family the proud family was a uh pretty good uh Disney cartoon back in the day, back in the, I want to say like in the early 2000s, probably some shit like that. And um, I liked them. I, I I actually enjoyed them. And they brought the, they brought them back, right? They brought them back. But modern day times, whatever, you know, the, the straight, I mean, not straight, the gay, the transgender, the the fucking uh the pronoun whatever the fuck i don't i don't even know dude and i i sim- i simply don't care i don't give a shit but i'm i'm going to go a little deeper into that uh so they bring back the proud family on disney plus we were watching it and i thought oh it would be cool to show my 5 year old uh to introduce her to the proud family that that'd be cool cuz the proud family i i enjoyed him back in the day i pretty sure show like him right and so we're sitting, we're like just chilling in the living room on the couch. And we have this mat on the on the floor in front of the couch, just chilling, right? Having popcorn, whatever, having a few drinks, uh, watching the Proud Family or this version of the Proud Family, and we're watching it. And uh, I think I want to say, I think since the very first episode, actually, in the very first episode, and from then on, it. Uh, it shows, um, I think it starts off with one of, uh, one of the friends, 
One of the friends uh, turned out to be turned out to be gay. And more along the show, they show that this kid was in the very uh, back in the very beginning of the show, back in the early nineties, two thousands, or whatever, whenever the fuck it came out. Uh, they explained that he was there since the beginning, and you know now he's now he just came out of the closet or whatever the fuck. And so that's the first one. And then as the show progresses, they show uh, they show two dads. They show two dads again. It doesn't bother me. Whatever. That's just that's just how things are. That's just that's how the world is progressing. I get it. I don't make a big deal out of it. I don't care. It doesn't affect me in any way. Love is love. Blah, blah, blah. I, I totally get it. I totally get it. And so um, they show the two dads, right? And they just show them meeting each other. And they uh, they they put it out there that they're a couple. And that they're the parents of these two other friends of, uh, what's her name? Penny of Penny, nothing biggie, whatever. And then they show, uh, that one scene. I don't know. I don't remember which episode it was. They show that one scene of the two dads finally kissing. My daughter sees that. And she, she kind of does this like thing where she kind of looks back at us. Like, you know what I mean? Like, confused with questions and you know and whatnots and so that's the part where me and the wife look at each other and kind of think like okay um what do we say to her like what do we do or like we're i i'm not sure right we were just fucking we're at all because she looks back at us, right? And we just, we're not 100% sure what to say. And at that point, it, it's not a problem. It's not a problem. We just, we were grown-ups about it, right? We were grown-ups about it. And we we sit her down and we go, it's because of this and because of that and blah, blah, blah. We, we, we sit her ass down and we explain to her. That some genders like certain same genders and this and that. We don't go into detail. We just explain the the father and father relationship that she happens to uh, see in this episode, right? And so she's left it at that and whatever. So we kept watching it. Um, I can't remember exactly if we kept watching it or not because I think we ended up... I don't remember if we switched show or honestly, I don't remember, but my point is, um, that's probably the only time that I will say, I will say this, cancel me if you fucking want, but I will say this, this is the only time that I will admit that this is a problem to me. When you start involving the kids, and I will uh, say uh, there's um, people from that particular uh, LGB, I don't even know how many fucking letters there are in there anymore, but I will say this, when because there's people in that community who happen to be teachers, and when those teachers push, that's not not push because uh, there I've seen some videos here and there, and it's like I don't agree with it. They push. You can maybe go as far as to say force this. They they teach this to the kids, right? And those kids become confused. In fact, I have a particular friend who uh, was telling me a story, I think it was about a week ago, who mentioned that his brother's kid comes back from school and asks his parents 
that if it was okay for him to like um, girls. And it's like, what in the fuck, right? That is when, excuse me, that is when it becomes a problem with me, okay? I don't care where you come from. I don't care what, if you're, again, if you're straight, if you're gay, if you're trans, if you, but whatever your fucking pronouns are, I don't give a shit. The moment when you start confusing my kids, that is the only time it is a problem to me. I will never push anything on anybody's kid for any reason. All right. That is not my job. It is the parent's job to teach the kids what is right from wrong. Not anybody else's. It's the parents. Because I think that, I think that when that line is crossed, that is when I will get pissed the fuck off. I will tell you straight up here. My wife is probably watching and or listening to this and going, why would you do that? <laughs> why would you say that? Because it's, it's true. It's 100% fucking true. I can tell you, I do don't agree 100% with what Kit Rock said and responded. I don't. Maybe he could have done it differently. Maybe. But even so, I, I, I straight up don't 100% agree with Kid Rock. I love the guy. I love what he's done. I like what he does. But that was just... Like, se pasó. Like, you know what I mean? All my Spanish speakers said, se pasó. Like, there was no need for that, dude. No need for that. I under, I, I, maybe, I don't know. I, it, it's, there's always two sides to the fucking story, right? There's always fucking two sides to the story. But in this case, maybe he did. Maybe he, he maybe he might have overdone it. I'm not sure. Again, there's always two sides to every story, but. Yeah, I mean, I guess, like I said, you never know. But uh, this this has gone, this, not just with Kid Rock, but this is like going fucking everywhere. In fact, I might have, uh, I think I might have gotten a text from a friend and he messaged me uh, with a picture. I think it has to do with the whole, uh, uh, there's also country music other than Kid Rock. Uh, country music stars who are uh, with this whole uh, kid rock movement. We'll call it the kid rock movement. And then also uh, the people who are boycotting all this fucking, all this fucking shenanigans are just straight up like the, just the, the people who are involved just look like straight up, like, like they used to. I'm gonna go ahead and say it. The 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 person, one of the persons, one one of the people who are speaking about this. You see how they look like, at least what I saw. I saw this person, and I think to myself, like, okay, this guy, <laughs> this guy fucking look like looks like he's lived a double life before, and by double life, I mean like he he would take it in the butt back then like th he this this person does not look like he should be fucking opening his fucking mouth first of all <laughs> and secondly like I, I i i don't see i i just don't see why why like why though right excuse me excuse me while i take a sip of my tea here for those of you who are watching uh, through video, seeing my awesome beer mug and drinking tea out of it. But anyways, um, yeah, I don't, I don't see the fucking this fucking deal. Like, why, why are we making this a huge fucking thing? Again, I'm not a big fan of the, of fucking uh light beer, but you don't fucking see me trying to boycott it 
for tasting like fucking piss water. Yes, I'll say it, but I'm not going to fucking boycott or fucking do something about it, right? Fucking, I don't know, man, but this, this, this shit goes, uh, deeper than, uh, giggity. this, this shit goes deeper than, than it's supposed to. Kid Rock just fucking, just escalated shit. He's, he's escalated shit, guys, and, um, I'm not, it's not that I'm not happy about it, it's just, it's unnecessary, right? So you have, you have a, and and you have a bunch of fucking YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, excuse me, uh, Facebook influencers, entrepreneurs of all kinds and shapes and sizes, right? Like, fuck, I, I don't even know how to fucking put it, it's just... There is no need for what he for what he did and said, uh, unless unless he had a situation where he, like I mentioned, that line that you would cross with me, unless that have happened to him. That's that's like the only that's the only way I would like let it slide, because that's that's the only that's the only way I would fucking be super pissed off. And shoot and break sh- fucking something up about it. Other than that, I just don't. I just don't get it. I don't understand it. There's like zero reason as to why he reacted the way he reacted. I mean, I saw a couple of cl- uh, clips here and there of this. Uh, of this. Uh, fuck. What's it called again? Ah, influencer, influencer, that's the word, of this influencer, and, uh, I, see, they seem like a good person, I guess, right, uh, maybe they don't seem like they're, like, drinkers, which is, again, not, another, another reason not to make it a big deal, because you see this, uh, this TikTok influencer, uh, what was the name? Let me let me let me get the name. Uh, Dylan Mul- Mulvaney, Mulvaney, some some shit like that. Uh, Dylan Mulvane, Mulvaney, I'm sorry if I I can't read, I can't read. I I obviously can't read, right? <laughs> uh, this this influencer to me does not look like a drinker. And if this person is a drinker, I do see this person drinking Bud Light. And if so, if this person is a drinker of Bud Light, I can understand why Bud Light showed their appreciation, right? Cuz it's like um it's like anything when it when it comes to uh celebrities and influencers and stuff like that. Um, when it comes to these sponsorships, uh, when these people have a certain amount of attention, certain amount of followers, certain amount of, of whatever, right? These big companies will, will look for them, especially if they know that this celebrity or whatever, uh, uses or is familiar or is, uh, does something that relates to them. They will look for them, right? They will look for this celebrity or whatever, and they will offer their product. Or if they're that, if they're that big, or uh, or whatever that powerful or well known, whatever the fuck you want to call it, they will do. In this case, what they did here with uh, with uh, Dylan, they literally will put your name and or face or brand or whatever on their product so i get why but like would move that direction but again if you look at it in a business direction then you would think like okay uh but light made a business move and said you know what we're going to send you so and so amount of products and we're gonna go ahead and put your name and, like I said, your face, your your your, your brand, whatever, on the can. Show appreciation, 
and uh, hopefully we can, you know, continue this collaboration and business partnership in the future and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, you know, just to just to bring in the moolahs, right? The money, right? I understand that. It's a money. It's a, it's a business money making move. I get it. And. Uh, shit. <laughs> not that I lost my turn of thought it's just that I'm, I'm trying to make sense of this because like like I, like I've been mentioning for the past what 30 minutes uh kid rock did uh he did overdo it he did overdo it I'm not 100 percent behind him but you know, freedom of speech, <laughs> I guess, right? Fucking freedom of speech. I mean, he's fucking Kid Rock. He made the song American Badass. He is America. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, freedom of speech, that's... I, I can't shut the fucking guy up. You can't. You can't shut anybody up. You just can't. And that's what the internet is for. That's... Hence, what's going on here? You can't shut anybody up. Everyone has an opinion. Everyone has something to say. And in this case, Kid Rock, Kid Rock might have overstepped it a little bit. I will say that. I don't one hundred of a percent agree with you. And uh, yeah, also. Uh, I saw a couple of uh, one of the one of those AI uh, photos. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out. Who who is the one that posted them? I think it was. Um, I want to say it was my friend Misty Misty Firestone. I need to give a shout out to my buddy uh, Misty Firestone. I saw I saw the AI images that were made. Uh, that involved <laughs> it was kid rock right but they ai him to like uh look very fruity <laughs> and god damn some mo no i'm gonna all of them all of these uh ai images are so good like they straight up like responded and <laughs> they were they were fucking hilarious. They really really were, guys. It was a uh, Kid Rock with the pride flag. It was Kid Rock with makeup. It was Kid Rock with uh, with just a bunch of like pink clothing and like bedazzled and uh, earrings and just very. Very flashy, very, it's very gay flashy. I'm gonna say it. Fuck it. Like, why not? We're talking transgender people who are against transgenders, and which I am not. Once again, I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Uh, again, where you come from, what you consider yourself, I don't give a fuck. Okay, I straight up don't. Uh, expect, cause that's just how I am. That's just how I am. I don't give a shit. Where you come from, what do you consider yourself? Um, this channel in particular, and this podcast now, uh, I don't care where you come from. If you're if you're fucking cool, if you're chill, we're we we're gonna be friends straight up. If you are a fan of what I do, and if you if we're just playing, we're just playing good. We're fucking friends forever. I I don't I don't care where are you from, what race, what sex, what pronoun. I don't give a fuck. Okay, I don't give a shit. Um, but this this entire thing, this entire story, it's just uh, it's it's nuts, man. It's nuts. Never thought I would. Uh, well, no, it's not that. It's just, um, 
I don't, I don't even know what else to say. I think that I think that's gonna pretty much end this podcast today. Uh, I I think I've pretty much said what I had to say. Uh, Kid Rock overdid it. He overstepped his boundaries. He could have probably again done it in a very different way, in a less ludicrous kind of way. But uh, yeah, I think that pretty much ends this podcast, guys. I don't have much else to say. And uh, yeah, I think that's pretty much it for that. That's the very first uh, bus cast for today. The Booze and Chill podcast bus cast. Uh, uh, let me go ahead and uh, end this here. Thank you guys for joining uh, for this part uh, of podcast this podcast is booze and chill podcast um bus cast as i call it for those of you who are actually tuned in for the video podcast thank you so much for sticking around if you are still here and stick around for the entire thing or if you are listening in to the podcast thank you all so much for sticking around and uh love you all and uh be sure to follow booze and chill on all social media being TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitch. Don't expect much from Twitch because I um, I have no idea how to upload pretty much anything. I've tried. I really have. But it, for some reason, won't fucking allow me. Oh, because I'm not that famous there yet. Will we get there? I don't know. Will I remove it? Maybe. We'll see. I don't know. We'll find out. And that again, <laughs> that ends this podcast, guys. Uh, again, thank you all for tuning in. Uh, be sure to like, subscribe. If you are watching the video uh, podcast, if you are listening to the audio podcast, make sure to like it and follow and make sure that you catch up and keep up with the Booze and Chill Buzzcast uh, adventures and topics. Uh, this one in particular was very juicy because it's uh, prior to when um, this whole Kid Rock thing happened was about three, four days, if I'm not mistaken. And it's still going, guys. It's still going. And uh, hopefully it dies down or it just calms the fuck down because. Uh, it's a bit ridiculous. It's a bit ridiculous. Fucking grow the fuck up, guys. Like, who fucking cares? Really? Like, just let people be people. And if there's a problem, settle out in a different way or whatever or whatever. But that's it for that, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I will see you guys in the next video podcast or audio podcast. And remember... If you guys keep watching, or in this case, listening, I'm going to keep drinking. Peace out, guys.